Grammy Pammy here. Welcome, vegetarians. Okay, so today we're going to talk about blockchain technology and how it's different from the traditional internet process in a very rudimentary way. But I'm going to start by giving you an example of something that is super important to our country. And that is, I'm hoping that most of you are aware that there is a special prosecutor and team that has been set up to investigate Russian meddling into the 2016 presidential election. So they're doing all kinds of digging around and of course they are using cyber technology to figure out where things have happened. So the way that Robert Mueller was able to name on Friday, July 13th, 2018, 12 military Russian operatives who used technology to interfere and meddle in our elections, how was he able to actually name those people? Through blockchain technology. What the difference between blockchain and the internet, as I understand it, again, in a rudimentary way, is that the internet is a centralized process. And so you start with one computer, you want to be sending information, and it goes through servers, and then it ends up at the other computer. That's where the information lands. And you don't really trace so transparently where what the process was, how it got from one end of the chain to the other end of the chain. Blockchain technology is literally much more transparent and clear in how things go step by step. And so it's decentralized and everything is transparent. You can each see each step of the way. So what Robert Mueller and his team did was the Russian military operatives used Bitcoin, which is a digital currency that they sent through the blockchain. So all they had to do was kind of trace it backwards and that's how they made their discovery. I'm gonna talk more about blockchain technology and Bitcoin and what's going on in that whole world tomorrow. So stay tuned. Grammy Pammy out.